Hey, Elizabeth, uh, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Oh, Savvy, I'm always interested in listening to what you have to ask or answer. All right. So uh, what is the advantages of working with a health coach as opposed to taking, tackling it by myself? Well, I know you don't have, well, I shouldn't say you don't have a weight management problem because we need to beef you up a little bit. But uh, as far as most of the people that reach out to us have first and foremost um, weight loss that they're staring down. And uh, I have to say, even for myself, after my fifth decade of life, tackling it by myself was no longer working. And uh, even though I thought I knew all that I needed to know to make that happen, um, I wasn't successful. And I gotta say that if you're probably here and you're listening to this, you've either not been successful as well and you're looking maybe into either another program or somebody who maybe has the next level of expertise. But you know, if you're here, then probably things just haven't worked out all that great so far. So you know, that, that's first and foremost. Um, but I think that's, uh, as you look at it, um, once the weight management phase, once the weight control has come down, then you know there are other things to consider as far as um, how are you going to maintain it. So first of all uh, is education. We have a, a textbook, if you will, that's about 550 pages long. And it's the book that I use to pass my certification uh, course, my exam. And so I know it already. And if you were to come on program and I was to say, this is a program, this 550 page book, have at it, call me when you get through, it's gonna be a little while and you may lose interest by the end of that. So we help people get a jump start by knowing the program ahead of time. The second is accountability. And I really don't like that word, but accountability in this case means not so much you're checking in and giving me a number and I'm scolding you. I'm not here to be anybody's judge. I'm just here to help them troubleshoot and understand maybe when they're getting in the weeds. And that number helps me know that. You know, for people that say, look, this is a simple program. I got it. I don't need your help anymore. You know, that's great. But I have other people that check in with me, you know, weekly or more often. And that's fine. I don't mind that at all. They want that accountability. They want to know that at the end of the week, they're going to have to give me a number and it helps them stay on track. That's what we're here for. And the third thing really is accessibility. And I say that because we have so many tools to help clients today, uh, social media and various other uh, forms of communication. And they can only gain access to these things by someone who's already involved in the program. And so they can't just jump on an app or a website and gain a whole lot of access to it. Although RX Healthy Habits is there as a, if you will, a screen door to the front door to the program. So so if you're enjoying the screen door, there's a whole lot more behind the front door, um, but you need access to that. And having said that, you also need access to the tools. And the only way to get your hands on the tools, temporary though they may be, is to have a coach. Only through your coach are they available. And when I say tools, I mean things that help you to uh, have things accessible, maybe in your purse or your briefcase or in your car, something that will get you through the day so that you don't make bad choices. So these are just tools for healthy habits. So those are all, you know, things that without without one of us, uh, you just don't have access to. So I'd have to say that if you haven't had any more than a modicum of success doing what you're doing so far, maybe it's time to reach out. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense of why you wouldn't do it by yourself. But what makes someone a good candidate for your program? Oh, God, that's an easy and such a great question, Savvy. You know, I have clients who have food allergies. I have clients who have had high blood pressure, clients who have been and some no longer are type 2 diabetic. I have people who just need to maintain their weight, people who obviously who need to lose weight as we just spoke about, but I also have people who need for more than one reason to control their blood sugar. Um, and that's really hard to do if you're grabbing something at, at Starbucks or, or the gas station. Um, we offer tools to help people to do that uh, as well as to keep them out of the weeds when it just comes to, you know, maybe they've got down to their ideal body weight or close to it and they want to maintain it and they want to make healthier choices like I just said it's really hard to do I mean you can only just grab so many cheese sticks from the gas station and think that you're okay so you know we help people we we outfit them to continue to maintain their health journey along the line from start right through to finish makes a lot of sense okay 
So just one more question for you, then I'll let you go. No sweat, Sab. <laughs> so if someone is interested in finding out more about whether this is a good fit for them, what, what should they do? Oh, that's a good question. Because, you know, although we feel as though there's almost nobody that we can't help, anybody that wants to be helped anyway, um, some people just may, for a reason or another, uh, decide that the program isn't a good fit for them. And in that case, what you'd want to do to find that out is to go to the website, uh, scroll down. I'm pretty sure it's towards the bottom. Sab, you would know better than I, but you can make a comment later uh, or whatever. Uh, but at any rate, there's a little file there that says take your health, take a health assessment. And uh, it's a little jot form and it'll, the file will link you to another site and it's all perfectly confidential. I'm the only one that has access to it, so no worries there. And it really just gives me enough information and background. It's not so much about, yes, it asks you, do you have high blood pressure, gout, or are you a nursing mom? All the different things that would cause us or want us to customize a program just for you. But um, it also helps us to understand, for example, what are your goals? Are you a grandparent that can't get down on the floor and play with your grandkids anymore and that's what you want to do? Are you somebody that really wants to exercise again, but you got bad knees or a bad back or a variety of other issues? Or as your doctor said, this is it, draw a line in the sand, you need to lose some weight. So if that's you, go to the website, find that job form. If for whatever reason you can't get the link to work, uh, email us and we'll get back to you and we'll either send it to you in another, another form or we'll just set up a phone appointment and talk to you personally. And one way or the other, that's what we're going to do to make sure you have the opportunity to ask all the questions that you have because I may not have answered any of them so far. So anyway, I hope that helps, Seb. Um, how clear is mud to you? Uh, do you know where it is on the website? Oh yeah, you were completely correct. It's at the bottom of the page. If you just scroll down on the website homepage and you'll find it. Perfect, yeah. perfect. Thanks for doing that, Seb. Thank you so much for answering my questions. Well, my pleasure, honey. Always glad to have you here. Thank you. All right, talk to you.